the cherry blossoms bloomed so early this year that I'm a little confused and I'm not sure what to make of it. Hi, this is Jinga Star. This video is also about the cherry blossoms, which are just about at their best season. You all know about cherry blossoms at night. It's called Yozakura, right? In Japan, it has always been popular to have a party under the cherry blossoms at night with family, friends, or colleagues. It's called Hanami. But for the past three years, we have not been able to do Hanami because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But this year, we are able to enjoy cherry blossom viewing. And I believe that many people are watching the cherry blossoms at night now. This time, I'd like to introduce to you five things to know before being cherry blossoms at night in Japan. The first is clothing. Especially on sunny days, be aware that there is a big temperature difference between daytime and nighttime. In Yokohama, for example, the maximum temperature on a sunny day during this season can be over 20 degrees Celsius, while in the, the evening it can drop by about 5 degrees Celsius. Of course, there will be differences de depending on the area, but you need to be prepared for the cold. The second point is illumination. Even if the cherry blossoms are beautiful during the day, at night, it may be pitch black and you may not be able to see anything. So in order to see the cherry blossoms at night, you need to find out uh, beforehand whether uh, they are illuminated with uh, writing uh, fix fixtures. In fact, I went to this Kamonyama Park, which is also famous for the uh, it's cherry blossoms, but it was not illuminated, and I could not see the cherry blossoms very well. The third point is eating and drinking. If you want to have a beer or a box ranch while watching the cherry blossoms at night, you need to find out beforehand if you can eat and drink. Of course, this uh, also includes whether or not you can throw garbage away and whether or not you have to uh, take it back home. I would suggest assuming that you take your own trust home with you. If you just want to take photos or videos uh, without eating or drinking, there is no need to do so. The first point is crowding. Related, related to the previous point, places where you can eat and drink are popular places, since there are only a limited number of times of the year when you can view cherry blossoms. Many people gather there, so it gets very crowded. In some, some cases, it is often impossible to secure a place to eat or drink. Therefore, it is recommended to check the crowds on SNS beforehand or if you have enough time to get there early in the daylight to secure a place. In addition, if you are taking a children, be careful that they do not get lost. Finally, the most important thing, it is a restroom. If it is night time, the temperature is cooler and you are drinking beer or other beverages. You will feel very uneasy if there are no restrooms nearby. Though there are generally toilets in popular places, it is best to check beforehand whether or not 
there are toilet toilets available. In Japan, there are almost always toilets at train stations that can be used free of ch charge. You can also use the restrooms at uh, supermarkets and uh, convenience stores, though, so there is not much to worry about. Restrooms may not be available in small convenience stores in the city center. That's all. In summary, crossing, illumination, eating and drinking, crowding, restrooms. Finally, when taking photos or videos, be careful of your uh, surroundings. Don't let cars honk at you like this. If you think this video is good, please give it a high rating. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please comment. I will certainly reply. I will continue to introduce and explain Japanese culture, traditions, and customs uh, through my travels and city works. So please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you soon.